Bar humbug. Wales Online report that a group that works with organisations on issues of diversity and inclusivity says it may be time to cancel Christmas. The call comes after new statistics showed that less than half of the population of England and Wales described themselves as Christian in the 2021 census. The group say that from November onwards, the decorations in town centres, the advertising on our televisions, the constant emails from retailers, all imply that everyone will be celebrating on December the 25th. But they say that many people feel left out and excluded from the celebrations whilst their own religious festivals are ignored. And many feel under pressure to spend large amounts of money for no real reason. Now, I love diversity. I think it's the best thing about this country. Britain is the most integrated society in the world. It is a global beacon of diversity, assimilation and inclusion. But inclusion does not mean the substitution of our traditions and values for someone else's. Although few people still attend church, Britain is ultimately a Christian country, which celebrates occasions like Christmas and Easter. It's why we love it. And it's why the people that come from elsewhere to make their lives here love it too. To cancel Christmas in Britain would be like cancelling the wonderful festival of Diwali in India or the Chinese New Year in China. And I can't imagine that uh, these diverse groups in this country are seeking to cancel Christmas. Most Jewish people, Hindu people, Muslim people, you name it, whilst not necessarily celebrating Christmas in a formally Christian way, generally participate in one way or another, whether it's the exchange of gifts, the office secret Santa, some tinsel around the Christmas tree, or just meeting up with friends and family. Because Christmas is not a one-size-fits-all occasion. It's wonderfully flexible. And in terms of what you do on the 25th, it's very much each to their own. But it's a time of year when we celebrate and when we have fun. And it's typical of this tedious, self-loathing, Britain-hating woke brigade to try to suck the joy out of what is, for most people, the very best time of the year and something to which we all look forward and I can't think of a time when we've needed the joy of Christmas any more than right now, after the last couple of years that we've had. Post-pandemic, this is a precious moment when families feel safe enough to get together again, having been torn apart due to COVID. So if you think you're going to cancel Christmas, think again. No one is pulling my cracker. I can't bear the watering down of this great occasion, which politicians and corporations are increasingly guilty of doing. I had a wonderful tradition of buying my favourite tea from a certain supermarket. It was in a red box and it was called Christmas tea and it was Christmas tea bags. I don't know what the hell difference it was between Christmas tea and normal tea. It actually tasted the same. But I like the fact that it had the word Christmas on the box. But a couple of years ago, they changed it to festive tea. So it's not Christmas tea anymore, spoiling all the fun. You might think I'm overreacting, it might seem minor, but it's an example of how this wonderful occasion is slowly being airbrushed away by people who either don't like Christmas or are even ashamed of it, as they are of Britain and its history. Like millions across the country from all backgrounds, cultures, races and creeds, I will be celebrating Christmas big time. There will be Santa, there will be a Christmas tree, there will be tinsel, there will be fairy lights, and I won't let any miserable Scrooges Stop me. I will even get my balls out. My, my balls are quite bouncy, aren't they? <laughs>